Hey travel friends, it's Stoof here. Welcome back to our channel. We finally got our new travel trailer. It is a 2022 Coachman Apex Nano 213 RDS with the off-grid package. We are going to give you guys a full tour of our new trailer as we picked it up from RV Specialist in Indiana. We're going to start with the exterior of the trailer and then give you guys an in-depth tour of the inside of the trailer. And while you're here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our fun travel adventures like this one. Hey, travel friends. We just made it to Goshen, Goshen? Indiana. Indiana to pick up our new travel trailer. Yay! Uh, we just saw it in the big garage area and we're getting ready to meet with them now to look everything over. So we're going to give you guys a tour coming up soon. This was an upgrade Automatic, okay. that we got with um, the power tongue jack because this model actually comes with a manual jack. So we wanted to uh, upgrade to a power tongue jack. So we got that done by the dealership here. Should have two propane tanks over here. Look at that window. <laughs> and that we do. All right, let's see. Whee. First, like, is there a master on switch for the whole trailer for this one? Uh, that's a good question. Okay, oh, is, oh, there's a USB chargers right there. That's great. If you're hanging out outside, you just want to charge your phone. And I think this is the solar charge controller. Yep, looks like it. Got full under storage. Water hose and an RV hose. Oh, very good. And of course, our power cord. Nice. But, I mean, our last one didn't do that. We had, that was our upsell package. Yeah. So, and we got the nice steps. Did it yes. come with those nice steps? All the stair steps. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Those look like they could be speakers. Oh, maybe. Yeah. For the fridge? The fridge. Okay, fridge. Yeah, this is fridge. Okay. This is fridge. Go ahead, Duke. Go on up. Will you want to finish walking around outside? Oh, yeah. Yeah, close the door. Two outlets. Do you see a person? Oh. Yeah, there's a person. Oh, there's a window. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's a window. Yeah. Here, you can have lights yeah. without needing to extend Open the it. Awning. That is nice. Remember yeah. Our, our last the other one, one was only on the end of the yeah. awning. Yeah. So that's definitely nice. Very right, good. Actually, tire. Yep, I brought our tire cover. Is that come on? <laughs> it should. I just. Have the hand strength. Uh oh. There we go. There we go. Yeah, okay, good. And there's our slide out, which doesn't slide out as much as the one on our old trailer, but no. it still gives you some space. A little bit of space. That's where the couch is. And what's this drain outlet? Power. This is going to be your low point drain, so whenever you need to empty the water lines, it should be. Well, actually, it's made up of the low point drain, but the water tank is right here. Mm -hmm. So, I, I think it is the low point drain. So, if you're trying to drain the water lines, you're going to do it here. You're just going to unscrew these. Very good. And we still got the outside shower, which is great. Oh, does it? Yep. We yeah, were wondering about that. Key, so we could open this up. Yeah. All right, so we water. Yep. And. Is that the water tank then? This is probably the flush. Oh, the flush. Yes. Where, is this our use. water tank? Tank flush. Potable water only. That would be, yeah, where we put the potable water in. Okay, potable water in. And obviously. Our the poops. Gray water, black water. Yep. All right. Switch connections. Oh, and look at this. A heating point. Oh, I see the insulation in there. Yeah, but look at this too. See this? This is a little heater. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Ow. Okay, yeah, that's it. Very good. So see, this is what I was saying. Uh, here's the sewage hose. Very nice. There.
So, the trailer! It's so, it, always, it feels so open. It Even though it's small, small. it's small, it's but it's beautiful. so open with the windows. There's so many nice windows. Yeah. Very good. So this is the slide out area. And this is the thing that controls the temperature. temperature. Where's the slide out button? Probably, oh yeah, slide it in and out. Right there. Okay, yeah. very good. Well, of course he wants to go on Lights. the couch. Outdoor lights? Maybe. So just to give you scale, Duke is like mid, like 20, between 21 and 25 pounds right now. And this is a, how much space he has. He's got a lot of space. Nate yeah. is checking out the fridge. So, freezer. Got some buttons up here for switching. And then fridge. Little fridge. It's smaller than the last one. That's a nice boy, Duke. And Stephanie. Got a single tub sink. Love. Get out of the way. We have a two burner stove. That we do. Got a nice big window here. Got nice overhead storage here. Probably a divider for the light. Hide the electrical. Not sure what's in there. We'll take a look. Oh, these are glass. That's really? nice. Yeah. And uh, little storage. Don't know what we'll put in there, but little storage. Our radio, TV backer, outlets. We got storage over the dinette area. Which we'll keep, right? Probably. It's uh, it's pretty shallow, so I think we can. That could be like my my work stuff and your work stuff. Yeah. And a dummy. She's just everywhere. We've got our fan unit. Should. Yeah. Look at the bathroom. And let's turn this on. Ooh, very nice. This is part of the off grid package, it's an upgraded fan. Yeah, I love that. And uh, that's because this should be able to run off the solar and help to move air in and out without needing to run air conditioner. Mm -hmm. So there's no vent, so. It's just a speaker. With so, this. Oh, okay. So that's probably that, why. Also with that Yeah, we'll probably want to run this while we're cooking. Mm -hmm. A bottle opener. <laughs> That's great. It's like they built this for us or something. Well, there is a little bit of space. That. Just push it in. Oh, okay. It's foot rest. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool. Very nice. Yeah. So, no storage. Oh, really? Oh, it's under here. Hi, Duke. Wow, you are so tired. You are just a tired boy. Did you see? Do you have outlets on your side? No. <gasps> Oh yeah, down here. Oh, you do. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Too. I thought you were pointing here. Uh, I have so two like, outlets, two USBs, and one bulb hole. 
We just lost it's a one little bit, drawer. It's a little bit less. But I do really like how this is fully enclosed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like more usable storage yes. than before. And when you drive and you hit the brakes or you hit the gas, it doesn't go flying all yeah. over. Yeah, we it's always nice. felt like we couldn't. I mean, because we never got the like little box things yeah. for storing okay. stuff there. It's down all the way. That was another problem with our last trip. <laughs> it didn't come down all the way. Yeah, yeah, it does. Very nice. Now? Yeah. So we'll just put a little TV here. And then, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a really little one. Would you look in the under bed storage? Oh, no. Whoop, there's, there's a baby in there. Yeah. yeah. So less storage space. Yeah. But it's still good. Yeah. And then we're gonna extend this a little bit right yeah we're gonna make the bed longer and put our new mattress on that we already bought yep yeah because right now here. yeah and, and only, this is no good i'm only 510 so yeah i'm not even tall furnace water heater stuff like that yeah Like huge Probably not. Yeah, I think it did, yeah. I like this one. The only thing we didn't like about this was how far this sticks out. Yeah. Cause I think it's probably because the we'll bump that for sure. He's got a face to look in this one or something. I think it's probably because of this this wall is probably really skinny. Yeah. Yeah, so. it can't go in there. Yeah. I'm just gonna this a lot. It's gonna have bruises. <laughs> but I do like that it has Towel hooks, mm -hmm. and then we can keep toilet paper and stuff over there. Mm -hmm. Breakers on this side. Oh, the breakers, okay. And uh, fuses on this side. Very good. That's AC. That's AC only. Heat's here. Heat is that. So how do you turn on the heat? So this controls the furnace. That controls the AC. So that wraps up our tour of our new travel trailer. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you watched our last video, you saw that we got our new puppy Duke recently 
and we didn't tell you the breed mix that he was in that video. I wanted to save that for the end of this video. So if you were curious, here are Duke's DNA results we got. We adopted him so we weren't exactly sure what he was and we love him no matter what, but it's pretty exciting to see what he is anyway. Uh, so he is a mix of a red bone coon hound, which is pretty obvious just from looking at him. And then the ones that were a surprise to me is that he's also part Catahoula leopard dog and he's part American foxhound. And when I was looking for our next dog, originally I wanted to get a hound, but I was really looking at foxhounds. He definitely has some of the personality of a foxhound, and I think his eyes kind of remind me more of a foxhound. Um, but there definitely are features on him that remind me of the Catahoula leopard dog. Uh, that dog has a wide variety in appearance. I'm assuming one of his parents was a black and tan version of the Catahoula leopard dog um, because one of Duke's siblings was black with tan little eyebrows, and the rest of his siblings were red like he is. So yeah, I can see it when I look at those DNA results, and we love him no matter what breeds he has in him, but just good to know for, you know, health reasons and looking down the road at, you know, the best ways that we can train him and meet his needs as a little doggy. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and happy travels. Bye-bye.